Hi, I'm Dr. Alana Ressler, and I'm a reproductive endocrinologist at RMA of Connecticut. And I am Carolyn Gundell, and I am one of the two nutritionists specializing in fertility at RMA of Connecticut. It's November, which is also National Diabetes Awareness Month. Um, diabetes is actually an epidemic in the United States and is affecting up to close to 10% of the U.S. population. You might be asking, what does this have to do with infertility? So we're here to talk about what the interplay is between insulin and fertility. So I think what makes RMA very unique and different is that in, when patients do come to us, we check uh, for prediabetes and diabetes. We screen um, for those two conditions because there is an association and correlation with longer time to pregnancy, miscarriage, and birth defects. And we want to be very proactive to, to help our patients um, get, get pregnant with viable pregnancies. So if you're trying to conceive and you're not um, being successful, then we're here to talk about one of the possible explanations that could be contributing to the difficulties with getting pregnant. So first let's talk about what is insulin anyways. So insulin is a hormone that's made by the pancreas and its role is to help us metabolize glucose, which as we know, glucose is in basically everything that we eat. So people may have difficulties with their glucose metabolism for two main reasons. The pancreas may be producing insulin, but the body is not responding as well as it should be. This is also known as insulin resistance. And over time, the pancreas um, will be working harder and harder and harder to keep up with the demands. And over time, this can develop into diabetes, which is also known as type 2 diabetes. The other mechanism is that some people's pancreas don't produce enough insulin to start with, and that's also known as type 1 diabetes. A particular interest for us are those women with PCOS. We see many women with PCOS. In fact, up to 15% of women of reproductive age have PCOS. And there's a very close association with PCOS and insulin resistance. It also may affect uh, those who are overweight or even anyone who has low activity levels. You may now be wondering, how do we check for insulin resistance? As Carolyn mentioned, we uh, really prioritize this for all of our, um, all of our patients here uh, at RMA of Connecticut. So how do we test for it? Well, there are several tests available for this. Uh, this includes um, a hemoglobin A1C, which is like an average blood sugar over the past three months. There are fasting glucose and insulin levels, and there's also a two-hour glucose tolerance test, which we uh, utilize when necessary as well. Many patients will come to us and they may have an abnormal, slightly elevated hemoglobin A1C or slightly elevated um, insulin and they'll say, well, I just came from my doctor and everything was fine. This is not unusual. Uh, in a wellness exam, hemoglobin A1C is not usually drawn. It's not one of those wellness labs that the insurance pays for. Um, and if someone is trying to get pregnant, we're looking for a fasting glucose that is usually much tighter than the norm. So someone could have a, a high normal blood sugar and the doctor may not say anything about it. Doesn't mean that it's abnormal, it's just high norm, but it may, but it's not optimized for um, looking to have a, a, a child. Insulin, uh, while not thought of as a traditional reproductive hormone, actually interacts with many of our reproductive hormones and plays a really big role in reproduction. It um, actually interplays with the other reproductive hormones and causes a shift if there's an excess of insulin so that higher androgen levels are produced. Androgens are hormones like testosterone, or um, other male hormones, which are present, of course, in females as well. 
this can directly affect the menstrual cycle, which causes then ovulation dysfunction. So this is one of the biggest roles that insulin plays with reproduction. It also um, may play a role in egg quality. There are some smaller studies suggesting this, and I think that um, we both agree that that's a future area of research to really um, parse out how insulin also has an effect on egg quality. Um, and then let's not forget the other half, our um, male partners also um, play a big role in the fertility equation, and insulin affects their fertility as well. It can actually lower testosterone levels. This can um, affect both um, their sex drive, cause erectile dysfunction, and also even the uh, quantity of ejaculate. So it can have several roles in the male fertility as well.